Hi, and welcome to Moto Mouth. I'm Osha K. Levy, and today we're going to be talking about these Scorpion XO SG3 MK2 gloves, which I've been testing for an upcoming article in Motorcycle Consumer News Magazine. Now, these promise to provide bona fide track level protection at a very low price point. Let's go to an overview and find out if they deliver. The aggressively styled exterior shell is constructed of goatskin leather with TPU protection added on the wrist gauntlet and fingers. The knuckles are reinforced with carbon fiber, and Knox scaphoid protection system armor plates are strategically located on the heel of the palm, where impact is most likely. These plates are specifically designed to slide across the pavement, reducing the initial impact in the event of a crash. An additional patch of leather fortifies the pinky finger, while a grippy material lines the palm area for extra control. The full-length gauntlet is double cuffed with large swaths of Velcro, and a wrist strap helps to cinch the gloves down tight for racing duty. However, the gauntlet opening itself won't open to more than about 3.5 inches diameter on our size large test model, so these gloves aren't easy to slip over bulkier jacket cuffs. Out on the road, the Scorpions initially feel stiff, despite the pre-curved fingers and palms. It took a solid week of commuting for the gloves to break in, but eventually they molded to my hand shape and are now quite comfortable overall. The polyester internal liner was reasonably soft and wore very well over the course of our multi-month testing regimen, while the perforated leather on the wrist allowed a fair degree of breathability at highway speed. Capacitive touch with the index finger is hit or miss, since the stitching at the top of the finger panel here often prevents the finger pad from laying flat on the device screen so that you can actuate your apps. It takes some practice, but eventually you learn how to pull your index finger back slightly inside the glove to make contact with the screen through the flat material of the glove's finger panel here. Although primarily designed for track use, I appreciated the added degree of security that these gloves offer for commuting duty as well. Their useful range is about 60 to 95 degrees, though in a pinch that can be used in colder conditions. And as expected for track gloves, they're definitely not waterproof, but they wore like iron during my 4,000 mile commuting test, so durability appears to be excellent. Ultimately, these Indonesian made gloves offer a great deal of protective features and functionality for an MSRP of only $134.95. They're available in black, as you see here, white or red, in sizes small to three extra large. So for functionality, I'm gonna give them four out of five wheelies, for value, five out of five wheelies, and for durability, five out of five wheelies. Until next time, keep the shiny side up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of your favorite Moto Gear reviews.